Hello everyone, welcome to the Art Workshop with Christopher Epling. Thanks for tuning in today. We have something special in store for you. Now I want to remind everyone that all of these videos can be found if you were to go to the um, holler.org. Um, those resources are available to you. There's a bunch of videos that have been created to help you through uh, learning the first steps, the initial steps in basic drawing, which is really important um, for young artists and interested in maybe even pursuing this as a career one day or as a general hobby. I also would like to thank uh, Pike TV for um, having this show available, made available to the community. Um, Pike TV uh, does care about uh, valuable cultural resources here in our region and fostering those talents and interest um, in a broad range of um, uh, topics. So. Um, it, it's, it's a great resource available to you and I hope you take advantage of it really. So what we're doing now we're going to be breaking in, into a few different segments. We're going to actually instead of an hour long we're going to be doing 20 minute to 30 minute segments. Uh, this, this offers um, more of a diversity amongst the topics that we're going to be um, offering here on Pike TV and, and also be, enables us to, to be able to um, uh, produce more, more stuff that, that's interesting to you, the public, especially for the young artist um, looking to use this as a resource uh, in learning how to, to uh, gain more uh, techniques and uh, enhance their abilities with basic drawing. Now before we get started today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the materials I'm going to be using. Um, that's always uh, of, as of interest and it's just as important to know what's being used uh, when an artist is working as to what they're actually uh, producing. Now we're going to be starting out today actually using a tablet. Uh, this tablet is a drawing tablet. You don't have to have one of these tablets to use at home um, in order to produce the things we're going to be producing. But it is very, very um, efficient whenever we're showing you the uh, different techniques that we're going to be using um, in order to produce the types of work we're going to be producing today. Um, from there, a little bit later on, we're going to be moving on to good old-fashioned paper, pencil and paper. And for that, we're going to, I'm going to be using actually a mechanical pencil. Uh, the mechanical pencils that I'm using uh, can be purchased at uh, any hobby store or online. Uh, you can find these pencils here locally. Um, you also need an eraser, of course, for mistakes. I do a lot of erasing with my work. You do not have to have a mechanical pencil to do these uh, uh, techniques or exercises with, but um, a regular 2B pencil or a 2H pencil will work just fine. Okay. Also, a little bit later, we're going to be inking. And for uh, the purpose of inking today, I actually have a Pentel brush. Now, this Pentel brush can be purchased also at any hobby store, uh, locally or online. Um, they're fairly cheap as well. Now, there's other ways to ink your works. Um, you can actually go out and purchase ink and, and use um, a brush to uh, dip that in. This is the old school method, actually. All of the old school stuff that you may have seen from the early, what we call the golden era of comics, uh, Jack Kirby and Will Eisner and all these folks, they use brushes, so they would dip their brush into ink and make the line. So we've, we've advanced three tenfold for, uh, since then with digital uh, tablets and, and various other instruments that contain the ink right there in the cartridge for you, so you don't have to do a lot of dipping. So that's our resources. Uh, today our topic actually is going to be something that a lot of students find probably one of the most, uh, most requested um, uh, characters and um, comic lines that I have. I visit a lot of schools, over 300 schools in total since 2010, and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles has to be one of the most popular of those. And I've brought with me today a book. This is the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collection, and if you notice, all of, uh, all of you who have actually um, uh, are, are aware of the of the Ninja Turtle comic line. Um, uh, you know that there's something very interesting about this cover. They all have red bandanas on. Uh, typically the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have uh, different colored bandanas. Um, but the reason that these have red is, is this is a collection actually of all of the early, early Ninja Turtle comics. Uh, they were produced at home, believe it or not, by two friends in Chicago, Illinois, uh, Eastman and Laird. And the reason they have red bandanas is that the early comics were all in black and white. There were no color. So um, um, uh, the reason there were no color was the Eastman and Laird being two friends. They produced these comics using um, a Xerox machine, actually. So they had an idea for these uh, four teenage, uh, I'm sorry, four turtles that fall into a sewer, land in radioactive ooze. Uh, they mutate into teenagers, and they learn ninjutsu by a giant rat. All right, so that's the storyline, believe it or not. Well, they created these comics. They went around to different comic conventions, um, homemade comics stapled together, um, what we call mini comics today. 
they handed those out to various people and a few landed in the hands of guys at Image Comics and the rest is history. Now the Ninja, Ninja Turtles are found on everything from um, uh, tennis shoes to uh, toothpaste. So today we're going to be learning how to draw uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now one thing I'd like to stress to you as we move to the tablet here is that there's tons of different ways to actually draw the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, there's different styles. If you know, if you follow the current um, uh, line that's on television today, the animated series, uh, it's a very different look than the early Ninja Turtles in the comic books. So the, the look of the Ninja Turtles evolve and have evolved over the years. Uh, we're going to be using a couple of different versions today. So we'll start out with the tablet. I'm going to show you how to draw the Ninja Turtles using the Marvel method. If you're unfamiliar with that, please resource the videos available on the art workshop, um, the art hauler found on uh, the, the holler.org. Okay? Um, you can learn more about the Marvel method. We'll be going over it some today. Uh, we're going to start out by learning how to draw these, these uh, comic characters. And then from there we're going to move to paper and pencil. And we're going to be doing a little bit faster editing for you can see uh, sort of um, a more quick inversion of, of how to draw various um, looks of the turtles. Okay? Now the Marvel method is something we discussed earlier on in the art workshop. And basically what that means is when you're looking at anything you're, you're considering drawing, you want to start out using shapes like this, like circles, ovals, you may use uh, um, uh, different types of uh, ovals orientated in different ways. Now, these, these shapes that I've just shown you here all um, are just to get an idea of what I mean using um, the ovals and things. But for the purpose of uh, using the Marvel method when drawing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you want to start out by looking at the general shape. Now, the general shape of the turtles, uh, you start out with a circle for, for the head. Okay. Going to use this as a, as a as our guideline. So we have the circle. This makes up the head portion. You're actually going to use an oval for the neck. Okay. We're going to then go into um, uh, more of an oval shape for the shoulders. Now this looks nothing like the turtles as of yet, but the reason for that is all of these shapes come together later. You use these as a framework as a skeleton to go by. Okay, we're going to put um, circles for the uh, shoulders. We're going to have ovals for the upper arms. You have another smaller circle for the elbows. And if you notice, you're going to see that all of these shapes start to come together to form what looks like a body. And of course now, at this point in in the stage, it doesn't look anything like the characters from the television or comic series, but that changes soon. We have an oval for the um, uh, for the waist section here. Okay, we're going to have some more ovals for the upper part of the legs, and you can see how all of these shapes come together. All the comic artists out there, from Pixar to Disney to Marvel. Um, they used this method to lay out a framework for their characters. Okay, it's really important to do this. It helps you with perspective. It's another word we went over in the art workshop. Please look up those videos when you have a chance. It's going to be really helpful for you to understand some of these terms. But um, it also helps with orientation. Now, orientation is a is another way of uh, saying how you're how you're looking at something, or how it's positioned anyway. So here we have a, a bunch of series of circles. Now again, this looks absolutely nothing like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cartoon character, but when we go back and we start to refine these circles, um, the shape comes out more and more. It's really important to remember these use, uh, to use as a guideline, and that's all. Let's zoom in now to where the actual head is up here. This is the turtle's head. And what we're going to do is we're going to use these shapes we've already established and we're going to just add more detail to it. Now the turtles have a large um, almost like a, um, a, a not a snout but a but their jawline is very pronounced so I'll draw another circle here to, to sort of symbolize the uh, the mouth portion of the turtles their jawline is thick so I'm going to draw some more shapes around the sides here uh, this portion up here will be where the bandana 
will actually go so the top of the head sticks out here so I may draw um, just this shape up here at the top to show where the bandana is actually going to stop at so the curve of the of the nose here all right and then the jawline down here this is actually the chin now you remember that I told uh, instructed you and showed you how to how to lay down that center line for the face and the head and this goes true for the turtles as well so you have this center line that runs down and across the middle of the face this helps to show you where the eyes will be where the mouth will be things of that nature okay this is the bandana later on we'll see how that plays in so scroll down a little bit more we have the neck here the neck actually goes into a shell so we'll start adding a little bit more detail here now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over this in a minute in black. And you can really see then at that point how these things come together. Um, the turtles have a, um, an, an elbow, um, an elbow brace here or a band. And we're going to include the shell portion. The shell portion is divided into three halves. So I'll go ahead and put those halves in here as I'm working. One here, second one here. And then we'll have the, the bottom one here. So those halves are very important to keep in mind. Um, as we go down into the leg portions, the leg portion actually goes underneath the shell part here. So I'm just going to I start adding these general shapes in, and I put detail over top of these shapes. These shapes are, are almost like a framework to go by. It's, your, it's setting your, your, um, your guide, if you will on where to draw what on your characters okay and still this looks nothing though like a turtle but that's soon going to change when we start to put in our, our detail with the black okay so I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and draw in the, the knee pads and move down to the feet now the feet of the turtles they have two toes um, so for the purpose of drawing in those toes you want to uh, just have this uh, oval shape first which is right down here at the bottom okay and at the end of those two oval shapes, just draw two um, letter C's. See how that's just like a letter C? And over here is going to be a two backwards letter C's here. And that's going to help you um, in guiding uh, where to put those marks later for, for the feet. Okay? So um, you wouldn't believe how simple or how much, I'll say, more um, easier it is a lot of ways to look at basic shapes when you're drawing don't get overwhelmed by um, by the look of the finished piece you want to pay attention to how things connect together they have two fingers plus a thumb so I'm just going to draw some ovals in here one here one there and then one for the thumb that's going to help guide me in a little bit when I switch to black one here another there and then for the thumb okay so, so far what we've created here is a framework to go by to create our Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. The one thing that I left out will be in the back and it will be the shell. So the shell will come up and it will go around the back of the turtle here and down along the sides. Okay. So we can now switch to black. Um, actually I'll go in before we do that and work a little bit more on the face to show you um, how we're going to build this face up with the blue. Okay. The the mask actually comes up where the eyes are, something like that, okay? Now, and the mask goes around the side of the head. We have the bend here for the nose, which is important. And then it goes back into the side of the head. Notice the fold of the fabric. When you're drawing anything that deals with fabric, uh, um, be sure and keep in mind how fabric actu actually um, forms on, on, a, on a body, okay, or on, on what you're drawing. It, it wraps around things, it's not stuck to them, that kind of thing. So let's draw in now for the eyes. And the good thing about laying down this foundation is that if you need to go back and change later, you can. Um, you're going to do a lot of erasing. You would do what actually be uh, putting this together with a pencil so that when you go back you can do some changes to it if needed okay alright so we can have him his mouth coming down like this and 
around the side like this right here okay something like that right there all right Can make him a little more angry maybe he's getting ready to fight there we go all right so now we can go ahead from what we've created so far and we can start in using the black okay I'm gonna go over here and grab the black okay I found the black now we're gonna go ahead and start inking over top of the blue lines that we've created for our turtle and uh, we're gonna start at the top and what I'm gonna do is you notice how the, the the line for the top of the head have about three or four different ways we could go there's a line here you want to use this as a guide okay this is really um, when you lay down those lines at the beginning they're, they're meant to simply help guide you that's it so when you start going back and changing things at this level you want to remember that these things exist just to help guide you, you don't have to, to follow it um, line for line you may draw around it see notice here how the bandana is coming a little bit too far over I didn't want it that far over now so I'm actually going to change it a little bit I'm going to bring it in a little bit more like that okay and you can always um, change or work around what you've created it doesn't necessarily have to be exactly the way you've drawn it with your circles okay so just keep that in mind it's real important so we're going to follow our lines now with with our black this would be as if you were inking using your pen you want to um, add more details you go along and here in a little bit when we switch over to the paper I'm going to be drawing um, a few different styles of the turtles for you so you can see how this plays in using the different styles the marvel method is a great way um, to adjust your uh, your characters and figure out what what is the best way to to to, to get um, um, get get the style you're looking for using whatever it is you're drawing okay so we'll go down to the neck the neck will go down into the shell so when we start working on the shell portion here we have to follow those lines increase the size of our brush a little bit the turtles um, uh, are, are made up of a series of ovals and circles and shapes like this but most cartoon characters are as well you can add the belt in I really really suggest you to go back visit the holler uh, dot org look at the videos that's been created so far follow those videos and they'll help you in, in getting an idea of how these uh, different techniques and and things were what, like the Marvel method and using pers uh, perspective and orientation and these things we've covered so far how these things relate to one another um, when using um, or trying to create a cartoon character from scratch like this okay and now we're going to zoom out a little bit and see where we stand with our turtle you can see here we have now the shell created the head the neck and now we're going to move over up into the shoulder portion the shoulders here you want to follow your circles there's a band here this goes down into the uh, um, elbow pad which is found right here on the turtle I haven't decided which turtle this is going to be yet, but uh, if you're following along at home, and let's say you've created and you've watched these tutorials and you've, you've come up with a few examples using these tutorials, I really suggest you to send those in to me. Go to the holler.org, post those or send those uh, directly to me so that we can show those here um, on the art workshop. We'd love to be able to showcase your work. This is about you. Um, it's not about what I'm doing. It's just about what you create. How are you using this workshop to enhance your own skills and how, how you're using this workshop in order to um, um, enhance your abilities and your drawing, your basic drawing uh, techniques. So send in those um, drawings to me at the um, holler.org. Um, we will post those and, and showcase your work right here on the art workshop, okay? I'm going to go ahead and finish this out in fast, a little bit of a 
fast editing on this and then we're going to switch to paper and the paper version that we're going to be doing is different styles now remember as you're watching this I'm going to talk a little bit about what I'm doing but you can use the Marvel method you can see how the Marvel method is used on on each one of those um, examples we show in a little bit okay so go ahead and finish out the turtle here I was going to give him some something some sort of a weapon the turtles um, um, I know a lot of the students watching will know the names of these guys but the names of the turtles are um, Michelangelo, Leonardo, Donatello, and Raphael. And each one of these characters have a different weapon, I guess, that they specialize in. That's how it works. Um, so we will, we will make this guy maybe um, Leonardo. Um, I'm sure that, that you'd like to be able to share it. I, I've had a huge response from, from the art gallery workshop. A lot of students really, really engaged, sending in a lot of their art. Uh, I'll try to put some of those up as we go along too. So right now we're going to switch over to paper form and you're going to see a very fast editing of how to draw these. But remember as you're watching those, use the Marvel method, uh, apply that to what you're watching and you'll be okay. All right. So let's switch over to paper now. Follow along with me. Okay, so what we're going to be doing here is actually the action pose for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I guess we'll do Raphael. That would probably be the best turtle for an action pose. Um, what I want you to keep in mind is although I'm sketching out separate parts here using the Marvel method, uh, starting off with the shoulders and the head, you can separate or break down any drawing that you're working on into separate segments. So uh, use a method, see, for the body now and the legs, um, and then you can fill that portion in with pencil. Um, a little bit later on. Now this is a little bit more advanced than the first turtle that we uh, put together but still the same principle um, uh, applies here. Uh, circles, ovals, and then adding detail. Now when inking this is really where you can compensate for maybe some mistakes that you've made or uh, areas that you'd like to refine a little bit better and you can see now as I go over the body I'm actually following the lines but I'm not using the lines as as set in stone. Um, you can um, go underneath or over or any way that really makes the drawing come out or feel in better. Inking is a, a completely separate uh, portion uh, to the process, but as you can see, using the Marvel method, you can bring a work to life uh, from the ground up um, using um, these simple shapes. So that completes the speed drawing for Raphael. And as you can see, this version is a little different than the first we tried with the tablet. It's a little more advanced. Using the Marvel method, though, you can achieve just about any look you want. So start out by practicing the easier versions. Move on then to the more action style, action pose type of uh, cartoon um, uh, character or positioning. Now, one thing that I would like to ask, if you're watching this, and let's say you try this at home, draw your own style, your own action pose, whatever it is from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle character line and you want to send that to me and the folks here at the holler.org please send it in we'll post it we'll share your work um, how you do that is you visit the website you click on the art gallery and you can upload the link or send the link uh, directly that way okay and again for this week we continue with the Marvel method and we went into the Teenage Ninja, Ninja Turtle line uh, trying to see how we can use that method to, to achieve the look of the turtles. Tune in uh, each um, art workshop. We're going to be doing various uh, cartoon characters, designs, elements tied to our region. And uh, really want to thank Pike TV and the holler.org for uh, showcasing uh, this as a resource for you. Um, please uh, tune in every time we have an episode and send in your artwork. We want to make this about you and seeing your work around the region, okay? Thanks so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing and working with you next time on the Art Workshop. Again, I'm Christopher Epling, and keep drawing.